Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out here on the busy schedule to stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Saturday, September 19th, 2020. We're winding out our 26th week of dealing with this bat flu, safe social distance, wear a mask, wreck the world. Yeah. Um, Currently here in Jacksonville, Florida, it is 75 degrees Fahrenheit outside uh, with a dew point of, or a humidity of 88%. It's actually warmer in the house, or warmer right here. It's 79 degrees Fahrenheit. I've been working uh, around the kitchen. So, that would be, come on, 24 degrees Celsius. Inside, 26 degrees Celsius outside. Uh, did I say it was 79 in here? Yeah, it's warmer. But, no, it is what it is. So, uh, the other day, I posted something on Facebook asking about your favorite hot dogs. And what you put on them and yada, yada, yada. My cousin George came back and said her favorite was something that my granddad and Uncle Dick used to make. And that was home fried potatoes with peppers and onions and a hot dog on a Kaiser roll. Now, Kaiser roll is kind of a, a New Jersey type of roll. It's, just, it's basically a hard roll. Uh, I can't get those down here. But anyway, I'm going to do my version. Um, home fries, the family style home fries, are sliced potatoes. And then, you know, you brown them up and, and cook them up in a, in a frying pan. Um, I went ahead and bought, uh, let's see, little dices, because I think that'll go well. I'll do what I needed to do, get the stove back on. I just got done, uh, seasoning my new my new pans. I bought these a couple weeks ago and they've been in the in the van. I want to get out and get it done, you know, out of the campsite or whatever, but the weather has been hasn't been cooperating very much. So uh, I went ahead and did it in here and I'll show you that in a minute. So, uh, give me a chance to get this stuff started up and I think first of all I'm going to start out with We'll cook up peppers and onions, and yeah, I'll bring you all back when I got something going on. Turn off that fan. All right, I picked up these 8-inch cast iron skillets, Ozark Trail. I got them at Walmart. They were like $5. Uh, <laughs> this was glued down in the center. Getting that glue out was a trip. It was a pain in the neck. It really was. I had to use alcohol and scrape it and then use a, a Brillo pad, well, a wire pad. Then I washed it all out. The only time my cast iron will ever see soap and water is the first wash. Now it is heating up and the handle is hot. So now is the time. I'm just using vegetable oil. Put that in there. Grab a pot holder. Yeah. That'll be the first toast. All right, now I got a second one. See how I'm going to do this. Put that on there. Let that come up to heat. Move this one out of the way. And yeah, I'll bring you all back later when I'm actually using these. 
Started up. I'm getting them this way. They're awful big at times. Plus, they break up quickly. Turn that down a little bit. This is coconut oil. I get from uh, Dollar Tree. Just gonna make a mess on my stove. Them all nice and soft with a little bit of color on them. Get them in a bowl. That coconut oil. Dollar Tree. I don't know how much it's actually coconut oil. Most oils you buy aren't really pure anyway. It's already shimmering. We'll get some of these potatoes down in there. Another pan over top. Give them a minute. I did contemplate buying a potato and dicing it all up and whatnot, but you know what? This is easy. I'm gonna need some more oil. It's all right, I got more oil. I'll bring you all back when I have something else to show you. All right, let's see. Maybe add a little bit more oil to them. See, I'm not using a whole much to begin with. A tablespoon or so, teaspoon or so. Look, get back in there. You're not just taping anywhere. I turn the heat down. Right now on my stove, we're at four and a half. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right, let's get that in the bowl. Talking with my cousin and my brother, we seem to recall that Grandpa and Uncle Dick cut the hot dog lengthwise down the middle and then pan fried it. I went a little bit differently. There's three hot dogs roughly cut in half and then kind of dice, cutting, cutting quarters and dice or whatever. So we'll put that in there. Oh, look at that. They just kind of start browning up real nice, real quick. I need to get me some bread out. I don't have Kaiser rolls. I went with these uh, wheat bolos. I like the bolo roll. I try to get them on sale when I can. I couldn't this time. Okay. This is probably going to make up more than. More than one or two sandwiches. Oof. They got a little little brown quick, didn't they? That's alright. We're gonna pull all this stuff back in there. And all over the floor. And so God I'm such a mess. I just clean the stove, so. down a little bit. Y'all didn't think I was going to forget the cheese, did you? Actually, let's go ahead and turn that off. I've got white American cheese from uh, Walmart. There's a place in New Jersey that makes something similar to this, and they call it a fat attack or a fat sandwich. Right now, it's looking like hot dog hash, isn't it? It's all right. Put a cover on it. We'll let that sit for a little bit. And I'll bring you all back when I got something to show you. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Let's see if I can get some of that dished out on this roll. Of course not. bring y'all back. Alrighty, it is warm in here. I got it all together. <laughs> now, it's going to be sloppy. I can tell it already. Oof. 
Mmm, <laughs> with donkey balls. Mmm. <laughs> you know, I forgot the jalapeno. With this Southwest hot mustard, it's got a nice little ting to it. Goes good with potatoes and hot dogs. I am not mad at that at all. Mm, 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 mm. I will probably make myself up a second one of those. Mm. Uh, a fan right behind me. <laughs> uh, let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fat If you want to check me out on Facebook or Instagram, I'll have links in the description box wherever that is on your device of choice. I'll also put links to similar videos. You'll find my email, my snail mail, and all that good stuff. So uh, if your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. So I'll see you all again. I hope you have a fantastic day. Slaunchy, y'all. Uh, Bye-bye.